Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12, playing here on the One Man One Mod Mod Pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing a lot better than I was at the end of last episode. Yeah, we're gonna take care of that. I'm gonna show you what I figured out, and of course, you might have already figured it out, and you're already yelling at me in the comments. Of the... Anyway, we got it figured out. The water wheel's working. We need to find a way to get that power up from the water wheel, and we're gonna work on the presser today or the metal press i think that's the name of it anyway let's get started that's right ladies and gentlemen here we are back at the top here and i realize now that things are going to get rather cramped up here we're going to have to figure something out and i'll probably do a lot of that off camera but I think we're going to try and dig down into the little hidey hole that I've got where all the fishing stuff is and we'll start that base stuff but I'm going to do a lot of the base work off camera all right so just uh, just to give you an idea about that I've brought a bed up here so that we don't have to run down there when nighttime comes upon us and I've taken down this tree and you can see we got a little connector hanging out the side of that one and we got a connector hanging out the side of this one right here. So instead of having one kinetic dynamo driving or, or being driven by both sets of water wheels, we have to have a kinetic dynamo for each set. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, so uh, one of the things we got to do is I've, I've gone off camera and I've made, I did make, well, I made one of these capacitors with you on camera. So we got that one. That one is partially full. And this one should be all the way full because I had figured this out soon after we uh, we we got together um, or we ended up last episode. So so yeah, um, I couldn't let it go. I had to check it out. Now, what else are we going to get into? Uh, this one is full. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We will we will have something to to do um, to to do with it. All right, so. Uh, one of the things we got to do now is grab our, our connectors here and we're going to see, can we reach from here? We got some, we got some coil. Yeah. So let's do this. It is an input and we should be able, oh, we can't. What if we did that? Good. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be filling that one up. And then over here, we need to do the same thing. And we should be fine here. We just need to get out our hammer. Where's the hammer? There it is. And change this side to input. And this side will be output. Yeah. Okay. And then wire from there to there. Okay. So both those capacitors are now being fed by the water wheels. Excellent. So... Uh, the next order of business is to make sure that we don't leave any of, of those mo spawnable spaces right there. All right. So we've got capacitors right here and right here that are just uh, just hanging out, doing their thing. And we now need to uh, maybe bring those to a single point uh, from which we can uh, go into other devices. And so the way we're going to do that is with something called a relay and relays i believe are like this it's a little bit cheaper than the connector yeah okay a little bit cheaper uses one less copper and there we go like that but we will need another set of connectors and so that's three copper oh that that hurts oh it hurts it hurts a lot to be doing that but say lovey do uh you need to be a hammer once again let's get rid of the torch from there this is going to be output and we'll do the wire connector there and we should be able to say uh let's go make some more copper uh let, let's just chuck this copper in here yes we're going to get to some copper here soon um or to some some double or doubling but uh, we can't quite get to it yet. So we'll need this hammer and then put the copper plate in here and boom. All right. So, uh, yeah, 
this, 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 and a stick that gives us some more wire coil. And then we can go boom, boom, and boom, boom. It is not the smartest thing for me to be doing this because I can go up and get hit uh, like that. Does that, how much does that hit? Yeah, a little bit. So we don't want to be tripping over that so much, but uh, that's what we got to do. Now, the next order of business, we need to make something called, uh, let's go into simple machines. Is it in there? No, that's like single block machines. We need to go to heavy machinery. We're going to do the metal press. Let's go back here. Yeah. And we'll pause. Pause. Thank you. We're going to need some steel scaffolding. A redstone engineering block, one piston, two conveyor belts, and a heavy engineering block. And as we get those together, we should see that it starts showing up properly in our, our inventory. So we need a couple of more steel rods, and we'll do this and this, and then like that. That gives us six steel scaffolding. And if we do this, uh, open the box, or open the book, and look at our recipe list, we can see that we've got a green check mark beside the required materials for steel scaffolding. And so this actually l lets you know that, hey, you've got what you need here. So uh, let's sleep and get rid of the night. Isn't that so convenient rather than dropping back down into the cave and then coming back up here? Yeah, it's a little precarious right there. I don't know that I'd want to sleep on the side of a cliff normally, but hey, that's what we got to do. We'll grab the copper out of here. And then next order of business is redstone engineering block. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, we can. And then we'll need a piston. And I think I've got, I don't have everything I need. We're going to have to do this because I've been using my silk touch pick and I did not bring up any cobble. I did bring up cobblestone specifically so I could make a piston. Isn't that lovely? So, we should be able to do this one, three, uh, three wood planks at the top, then redstone there and iron. Uh, no, reverse that. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. And then we're probably going to have to do that one more time. And let's see what else we have in our bag of tricks up here. We're going to need some leather. Did I bring any leather up with me? No, no, I didn't. We need leather for the, uh, what are they? We need leather for our, our um, conveyor belts. Yeah, so that's, that's a thing. Okay, so that means we will need to go back downstairs. Let me go get the leather. I'll be right back. No, right. We are back. I've got the leather here and, and I, um, I pulled back up those steel scaffolding just so that we could see that our shopping list is getting filled up, right? So let's make the conveyor belt here. Pulled up the recipe. It's pretty simple. As long as you got a cow farm, you should be fine. And then still going and getting, getting iron and redstone as we've been doing. But let's grab that and we should see conveyor belt is now in place. Now let's take a look at this heavy engineering block. It is pretty heavy indeed. It's, it requires a decent amount of material here. Electrum. So we need Electrum, and Electrum is going to be gold and silver. Gold and silver. Do I have gold and silver on me? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. So, <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, here we are back again. I brought up the whole chest, the whole chest for the uh, for my ores okay so we're going to grab one gold and one silver and then we'll refresh those we'll chuck this into the furnace here and we'll chuck this one in as well we should get gold and silver out forthwith gold and silver we may not be able to easily make this so let's go put this into the alloy kiln and and then we'll we'll have to drop back down and get it a bit but we've got a little bit of additional work to do so put that in there and silver and that's going to go oh it's not going to take too long yeah not so bad all right so you've got to have a fuel in here we use coal coke i don't know what else you can use but there we go we've got our electrum and that did not take as long as i had figured 
All right, so let's head back upstairs. The heavy engineering block, as you can see, is a little bit more difficult to craft. It is going to require two pistons, however. So we do need to get that going. Um, we don't need the terracotta anymore. And I don't know that we need a relay. No, we don't need a relay anymore. And the hempcrete we can throw back in there. We are going to need more wire connectors, so we'll keep that in. And the stone, I'm not sure. Lead, I'm not sure either. But let's uh, let's go in here. We've got steel required and pistons. And so uh, the, the other thing here is a steel mechanical component. Let's take a look at that. We can make a steel mechanical component either with crafting, and that takes four steel plates, or we can go to the engineer's workbench, right? And then we get two steel plates and copper ingot, right? Okay, so that means that we should probably look at the engineer's workbench. And so I've got I've got a little bit of what we need for that right here. And uh, let's make a crafting bench while we're at it, because we're going to need one of those. And then we'll make the engineer's workbench. Let's do that. And boom, got we got the supplies, okay. And we get a new advancement, excellent. We'll put that right here. And then what we need to do is that the engineer's workbench requires these blueprints and we need the ones for, uh, let's go here, see the mechanical components. We need the crafting components. So what's that going to require? That needs iron, aluminum, copper, lapis, and paper. And I do have all of that right here. What can we get rid of? So the leather, I think we're good on there. And aluminum. All right. Yes, I'm saying it aluminum because I believe that's in, yes, that's in the, in the thing here. So let's do that. And we will put crafting components in. And we will need some steel ingot or steel plates couple steel plates. Do we have steel in our inventory? Yes, just barely. Put that in there. We'll grab the hammer, make that, and then we should be able to put our thing in there. And then steel plates like so, and a piece of copper and make that steel mechanical component. That's one. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, very, very expensive. Oh man, what else can we get rid of here? All right, I think, uh, let's put the iron ore away. I think we're good on that. Probably need to make some more steel here soon. And then we'll do this. All right, this is all in support of, of actually getting a little bit ahead of ourselves on these recipes here. So another steel mechanical component. And now... Now, back to this guy, uh, grab that and then that, and let's make a couple of pistons. No. Yeah, like that. We'll make the pistons here and, okay, we got one. Let's make another one. Okay, now we should be able to make this thing. Yes, yes we can. And let's take a look and we see that the sun is going down on us, which means that we are at the end or close to the end of our time. So let's see if we can get this done real quick. All right, so we've got all of our items here. We've done the engineer's workbench. Let's take the steel scaffolding, set it up like this. This is not where we are going to be finally setting this whole thing up, but um, but yeah, we, we just need to get going on this for our next project. So let's take a look here. You can see that when we get ready to place this conveyor belt, we get this arrow overlay and that tells us the direction it's going to go in. So we're going to do that and that. Okay. That's going in the same direction there. We'll put the redstone block there, piston right there, and then the heavy engineering block on top. And then we take our hammer. We need to rotate the piston around. I think we do that. And then there we go. All right. So that's the multi-block for this thing. We now need to go to sleep and we're going to have to make another set of um, 
the the components the crafting components we need to make the metal press mo molds and that's right here that requires a steel plate so we do need that of course we need a steel plate so we'll do this and i'll probably i'll have to chuck some more of this iron into our smelt or the blast furnace let's do that make the press molds boom all right so there's a couple things here uh let's do we'll make we need to make a couple of of hoppers and then we've got some treated wood planks we can make a couple of storage crates here because we want this to be a little bit automated just a little bit not tons necessarily we need one more set of those okay two hoppers and we'll do that like so okay so a couple hoppers there let's let's go like this we'll point one hopper into that put um and put a storage crate on top like so and then we'll put a storage crate like so and a hopper into that okay now we need some wire connectors so or we need a wire connector and then we'll take our wire coil like this and like this oh and it's <laughs> hmm it's always something always something what else can we do can we maybe put uh scaffolding do we have scaffold we've got some scaffolding somewhere around here let's do you actually we'll just do this for now so i can climb up like this okay good all right and then do i have i have an axe somewhere around here to make it a little bit quicker yeah Okay, and then we'll take one of those relays that we got rid of earlier. Yeah, and we'll put that on the bottom of this. This is convoluted as all get out, but hey, hopefully, hopefully it works. Let's just see. Uh, you didn't even come down into my inventory. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now we have IF going into our metal press, and we need to make the metal press molds uh, we need to make in particular uh, press mold let's see about the coil uh, no press yeah do this one five steel plates and that's all we've got that is all we've got let's go take some of our iron and go put it into yeah, we're going to need a few of those. Uh, let's do that five more. We've got five there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. So uh, things to keep on top of are is your steel production. Dadcraft is probably yelling at me like, what in the world? Soap, get it together. If you're wondering about our... our we've got some friends down there that are... Um, while I'm fishing, they come out of the portal and they go get themselves caught in a little area that we've got over there. But, yeah. All right. So, uh, the first order of business we need to do, not not the first, but one of many, is we need to take all the rest of the steel that we've got, turn that into a press or into steel plates. We're going to do that and then put our engineer's wire cutters in and we're going to get the metal press mold wire. Okay, and then what you do is you right click this into the press. And then if we were to say, take some copper like so, and we just put it in here, we'll see the copper comes out, goes under the, the piston arm there and gets turned into copper wire. And notice that it gets turned into two. So instead of one ingot going into one wire we got we've got one ingot going into two wires and so that's going to make things a little more efficient for us and i do believe that that is 
all that we have time for today. The next press that we're going to be doing is the press mold for the plate. I will do that off camera once the steel is is uh, is done down in the blast furnace. But for sure and for certain, get on top of your steel production. I think next episode we're we're finally going to get to our um our crusher. I think that's what we need to do. But but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the engineer's workbench. We figured out what's wrong with our water mills, and you saw how to use the alloy kiln finally. And we've built the press. Uh, this is not where we're going to be doing all of this. We need to move the machinery down into a little bit more uh, more usable area. We're, we're getting crowded up here. So we need to figure out the base. I'm going to take care of that off camera. And then when we're back together next time, hopefully I'll be able to incorporate your comments. And so keep those coming. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit the like button. It helps out more than you know. If you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.